Hail Vikings and welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 9! Maybe a subtitle, I don't know, maybe someday this game will get one. Or maybe not, who knows. Uh, I'm back at the gathering because I forgot to do something, forgot completely. Uh, that being said, I did kill the fish. Uh, it was easier off screen. I found my way inside the tank completely by accident, which worked in my favor. The sea monster cannot actually attack you in this. And I think he keeps resetting, uh, which stops him from attacking you, of course. But I think that also reset his HP every now and then, which is why it was taking me so freaking long. I, I, it took me over 15 minutes of not succeeding. But I think by being in the water tank, I could trap him somewhere, I could hit him more reliably, and I think that just got him dead. Anyway, back to the gathering. I had something to do and I don't even uh, uh, remember where I need to go to do this. Hi. I need to talk to someone. Uh, you have any news? Sorry. That's all you gotta say? That's all the news you have? I win. Okay, this is the intimidation game, I think. And this guy was afraid of Monoma. And so I got a quilted armor, which is bad. That's not at all what I wanted to do, though. Hi. You have any news? They threw you out! Um, some other time? I don't know what your game was. I don't really care all that much. Let's talk to people, then. That's another game. We're gonna do that another time. I didn't come here to play games. I want to talk to someone in particular. Hi. Any news? You won a prize. What do you know about it? It's fun to go and win prizes. Yeah, I got some quilted armor. It's not very functional, but I, at least I got a prize. Dullard. Oh dear. Do you have any news? Oh, you're an actor. Whatever. Go away. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Hi. What do you do here? You mend things. You're called the clumsy. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, it's a repairman. Hi. No. Thank you. The ample. Do <laughs> you have any news? Okay, what do you know about food? I think you know plenty. I'm gonna go now. Hi. Come, play a game. Ah, you're the person I need to talk to, I think. Ah, are you looking for any help? Someone to start a new trapeze. Well, what do you know? I know a trapeze actor. Someone who looks brave and noble. I don't know about looking brave and noble, but he certainly thinks he does. Ah, bring him here. Sure, we'll do that. When we see him, if we go to Drangheim someday, we may do that today, but first, first, I want to go to Trondheim, which is not going to happen for a few days. I checked the boat schedules beforehand to know where I'm going and when and how. From Guberlen to Trondheim, it's on Wednesday, so I'll be waiting in front of that guy for a long time. Hey, take me where I want to go. So, um, we'll be waiting a while. And on Monday, and on Tuesday, we're waiting a lot. Thank God we don't have... Thank God we're not tired. We're probably gonna get tired. Hi! Everybody's fine. That was the... <laughs> <laughs> the longest wait you've ever seen. Five days. Oh my. That's gonna be easier than I thought then. Because guess what day it is to go from Trondheim to Drangheim. Wednesday again. Only a couple days to wait. So this is Trondheim, by the way. I came out of Gubelen. From Gubelen, you can go wherever you want, which of course means you probably need a map for that. So guess what time it is today? Map drawing time. Everyone's favorite. Right, so you have this, uh, you've, you've actually seen the map before. You have this giant continent divided in two by a river of some sort. 
And then you have like three highlands, two to the side, one down the center. Now the one down the center is the Isle of Ashes, this is where we started. Uh, this is where the ruins of Verhofen are, and you see this giant circle of sea around it that used to be land, and then Verhofen cast a spell, and then a cataclysm happened, and then uh, that land stopped existing. Uh, it kind of messed up the entire area, to be honest. Anyway, Chedian, the whole six-year-old thing and whatnot, is to the right of the river. Everything left is something else, which is where the invaders are coming from, but we're gonna come back to that. So Chedian, um, on the islands, we've been on the islands this whole time, on the islands you have the bigger island, which is Stormford and Drangheim, respectively, uh, and then the smaller island to the south at the bottom is Gubelen, which is lone, isolated, it has egos, but it's on it's their side of the world, you know? And then on the big mainland area, you have three other clans. Fjordgard, which is on the southern coast, Trondheim, which is to the west, and as we mentioned somewhere, that's where Kira is, that's where we are currently, um, and that's going to be the front line when the uh, invaders come, in theory. And then you have Frostgard up north, which is actually locked down, you cannot go there, even from Gubelen, until you unlock it through... you'll see. <laughs> you'll see very soon, you'll see today actually. That, that's not a big suspense. Anyway, uh, so you have the, th the six uh, the six clans, and those are the six main areas plus the Isle of Ashes. There are two more areas in this map. Uh, Jorwick, which is immediately west of Trondheim, and Lindisfarne. Now, I'm not even sure where you can travel on foot and from where to where. Because I rarely ever do. I know you can from Stormford and Drangheim, obviously. I'm I know as well that you can from Trondheim to Frostgard. Guess how you unlock Frostgard. Uh, and I think you can travel from Trondheim to Theorgard back and forth. And I don't remember how you get to Jorwick at all. Lindisfarne, I'm pretty sure you can only get by boat. Same as Gubelen and most other places, actually. Jorwick, I think you go there through a dungeon. Kind of like Nyon in Mind of Magic 7. I'm not even sure. And then there's another area, if I remember correctly. Another area that's not even on the map. We'll see about that another time. That's it for maps, though. Ah, yes. Today, Trondheim. Now, Trondheim and Thjorgard are the biggest cities by far. Did you think Sturmford was big? No, no. Sturmford's small. Stormford uh, or Drangheim. God, Drangheim is small. Drangheim is a little uh, countryside farm village. Hi! Ah, oh, yeah, by the way, you've got the magic trainers in here as well. Trondheim is the second uh, magic master trainer. Fjordgard. Ooh. Fjordgard has the uh, miscellaneous skills trainers, experts and masters, and. They have the Grand Masters of, I believe, um, combat skills. Yes, they do. Theogod is the biggest city by a long shot. It has a lot of stuff. Trondheim, I said, is big. It's kind of big. It's kind of complicated if you look at the map. And God, is it complicated. But, um, yeah. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a spell shop here. You don't have a pet I can kill, that's unfortunate, but we can always see what you have to offer. You have some pretty big spells that I'm not going to be learning just yet. Um, purify, I have it on everyone. Town portal, there you go. I don't have that yet. What? What, what a ripoff. Damn. Uh, that's all I'm gonna be buying from you. Thank you very much. You're a bit of a ripoff here Okay, I'm gonna give that to Tim. I think uh, It could be either actually Hmm uh, For now it's gonna be Tim, but I'm gonna buy another one eventually and I'm gonna give that to yes. uh, myself Uh I give that to Tim because Tim is doing all the miscellaneous spellcasting while I'm handling the healing for the most part. But uh, 
I'm not going to be investing all that much into elemental magic with uh, Tim. So, eventually I'm going to have to be using it on myself to actually get its full potential. Hi, you spirit. I don't remember who's important in here or not. So, whatever. Goodness gracious. I'm going to go left here. Also, your arrow is constantly looking the wrong way on the map. I'm certainly not looking at a wall right now. It's kind of annoying. And if I'm looking at this wall, yeah. See what I mean? Uh, it's kind of a little buggy. <laughs> it's okay, though. Once you know that, it's fine. But sometimes you just get lost. Alright, anyway. Oh, God, there's so much. You know what? No, I'm going to go the other way. Sorry. I think it's going to be easier to be thorough by going through the giant gate. There are essentially three sections to uh, this city. I am in one section currently. There's one section to the right and one section to the left. I'm in the middle section right now. Uh, and there's a giant wall separating each other with a giant gate that you don't even go through. You go through the side corridor that goes through the wall. There you go. And this is, I, if I remember correctly, this is the shopping district? May also be where Kira is. I don't remember exactly where Kira is. Anyway, armor shop. Let's see what you got. You're probably as much of a ripoff as the other guy. I'd like to see it where is. Uh, on you, please. Oh. Looks like you have quite a bit. Ooh, full plate. Mm-mm. Requires a master armor skill, though. Chain boots. Yeah, you have a lot of accessories. I'll be fine for now. I just wanted to check to see if there was anything that jumped out. With weapons, I tend to buy a lot more because weapons is a single thing. Armor, outfitting yourself in terms of armor is... Oh yeah, that's definitely where Kira is. Outfitting yourself in armor is a lot more costly because you have a lot more accessories to actually uh, handle. Hi. Who are you? What do you want? You're the naysayer? That's not a very nice name. What are you? What are you hello. What do you, you have any news? Thankfully, no. Oh, um, okay. What do you know about honkies? Okay, I'm very sorry to bother you. What the hell is up with this guy? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm sure he's going to be important later. This looks like an important place. I'm going to go this place then. This, I'm pretty sure, is Kira the Cold's uh, palace. And a palace it is. Hi. Welcome, friends. Oh, yeah. That's the... Um, well, Welcome, can I ask you some friends. questions? Why not? Any news? Kira came and visited me in person. Man. Are his special skills soon? What do you know about Kira? Wonderful leader. Blah, 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 blah. She's awesome. I think you're in there. No. Bjarni is the. All oh, right, I have to deliver a letter to her. Hi, you look special. Dane Sword Strong. Okay. What's up? What are you about the hordes? Oh, you know about them at least. They shall not sneak up on us like they did to Freymon. Freymon is the land there west of us. I, I'm not sure if it includes Lindisfarne or not. It definitely includes Yorwick, though. Yorwick has fallen, by the way, to the Horde. Uh, this place is huge. I think she's in this room. Can you... Oh, there's a paper there. That's what I was getting stuck on. Henry, you've had enough with this Temple of Honk. I love the Honk. Honk, honk! Sup? Good day. What may I help you with? Kira the Cold herself. So there's an army marching towards Trondheim. Yeah. They are too strong for you. Ah, uh, we've seen the troll. She knows things. Uh, <laughs> she's right. Wow. And she just admits it. Nice. I do like her as well, by the way. Probably my favorite Yarl. Because she's awesome. I mean, Markle has an ego. Uh, Sturmford, he's 
he's ordinary, I guess. Drangheim is just an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's a fool. Fjordgard is greedy, like nobody's business. I don't remember what Frostguard's uh, Jarl is, but she's probably my favorite. She's just in charge and everything. Ersa sent us to unite the clans! Who's going to live, leave this? Oh, we will? I thought we were just uniting them so that they can handle it. I I didn't I didn't want to handle that. God damn it. Stupid destiny of mine. <sighs> I agree with you. That's pretty damn doubtful that we can defeat hordes by uh, our lonesome. Um, Alright, fine. We're going to prove our worth. At least on the, in her case, it actually makes sense. You're going to do two things to prove that you can give me orders. Because, yeah, she's not the type to take orders very easily. <sighs> What's the first task? Honkies, yeah. The honkies! I love the honkies. Okay. Oh, I can't kill them? Come on! No, that's okay, though. I don't want to kill them. Honkies are funny. Yeah, we'll do this. What is the second things? In some historical books, stories, used to connect Trondheim and Fjordgard. Blah, 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 blah. Why don't you find this pass in your... Oh! Right. Trade and whatnot. Sure. So you can travel on foot from Trondheim to Fjordgard. You just have to find and open the way first. Yeah. We'll find a mountain pass for you. Sure. Great. Somewhere to the east. Well, I imagine so, because your god is to the southeast of you. Thanks for your time! Alright, and you can definitely travel from Trondheim to Frostgard as well. So... Yeah, Trondheim is kind of the hub, as far as land travel goes. Although, uh, I rarely ever rare land travel, as you're all aware of. I just usually use Drakas. I mean, I'm a Viking! Drakas for life, yo! Alright, let's go. Need to get rid of honkies. Oops. Honkies, honk, 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 honk. Honkies. I guess I'm gonna go uh, up. Up and round. This, I believe, yeah, it's the training room. I don't have any levels. Hey, ladies. Interrupting. Light magic. Okay. Dark magic. Oh, my. And you're talking? Uh, what the hell do you have to tell each other? Elemental. No, thank you. I'm just checking because I don't remember who has stuff to say and who doesn't. I'm probably also missing secrets in the back alleys and whatnot, but whatever. Alright, let's go through this wall. To the section that I almost did before the last one, but I think I'm going to have an easier time keeping track of where I've been going through here first. Hi! Sure, let's ask you some questions. You have any news? Reopening the mountain pass would be great for business. Yeah, I agree. I'll do it eventually. Those are weapons. Weapon shop. Hi. You look like you could use a sword. Yes. Do you have a good one? Horseman's flail. That sounds interesting. Uh, five fifteen. Better than that dwarven hammer that I still haven't used. Expert's student bow. Expert gives skill. I don't remember that much. Composite bow. Cavalry bow. Pondata. I think it's two-handed, though. I remember the Pondata, though. Ooh. Pondata hits hard. Slow, but hits hard. Uh, how much is it? Oh my, a thousand? Uh, no. Nah, I've just bought a Dwarven Hammer. I'm at least gonna bash a few skulls with it before I sell it. I mean, seriously. Anyway, I may go back to the armor shop, though, and do some shopping off-screen. Oh, you look interesting. Hello! May I help you? Maybe. I'd like to ask you some questions. What do you know about Bjarni? Oh, I forgot his god damn... He's been trying to woo Kira the Cole. I wonder why he hasn't gotten him yet. Maybe because Kira didn't tell her she's not interested. Talking about which, I have to deliver a letter. I forgot completely. Kira, I have something for you. It's from 
Ah, uh, wonderful man. I'm trying to help him out a little here. Come on. Gotta help the dude out. I'm gonna be his wingman. Gonna deliver a letter. And hopefully she's gonna be all wooed by her. <laughs> Can we read that, actually? Hold on. Kira the Cold. Oh, man. She sure is bold. Oh. She holds my heart Ooh. because she's so smart. Hey. If she were with me, all others would flee. <laughs> I would sacrifice a feather so we could be together. A feather? I would kiss a tree if she would be with me. <laughs> She looks better than my horse. Of course, <laughs> of course. I would give her my heart, so we would never be apart. <laughs> okay. Maybe she likes humor. I don't know. <laughs> she looks better than my horse. Are you kidding me? Oh, you silly man. If only she looked better than your dracker. That'd be you'd be in business. Uh, going this way. All right. Hey, I'm Kira. I forgot something. I have something for you. Good day. It's the most what may I help you? Wonderful letter you've ever seen. We've been to my journey. What does he want? Guess what he wants. <laughs> yes, he he did. Yeah, kiss a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Not here, not. You're not the type to. Uh, you're not the tree hugger type, uh, or rather, the tree hugger type is not your type. Anyway. Mm, all right. Well, we're gonna tell the truth. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry to bother you. And I think our experience just went up a little. Just from delivering a stupid letter. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, I think while we're around here, let me check something. Uh, boots. Yeah, definitely boots. I'm gonna accessorize in terms of boots, I think. Maybe helms? Let's see. I've got five armor on basically everybody. So Hems I'm kind of decent. Three, uh, three, five, five, six. Maybe one pair of gloves, boots, S definitely boots. I have two, I have three on the other guy, five. I only have one five and somebody doesn't even have boots. That's horrible actually. Um, maybe a pair of glo gloves, belts. Yeah, I don't have belts for someone. Two people don't have belts. Alright, I'm gonna go accessorize a little more in terms of armor. I'll be right back. <laughs> 